he's as sick as she is now. I told you it would work. Worked on the wrong patient. We could spend all day arguing right or wrong. Give me the hundred bucks. We didn't bet. We could spend all day arguing whether we bet or not. Give me the hundred bucks. Come on, Foreman, pay up. He won. Or oh, we could just never finish the DDX. <sighs> Husband's test showed no MI, no aortic dissection. It's not his heart, it's just non specific chest and abdominal pain. So, psychosomatic, panic attack. Pain persisted after he got lorazepam and morphine. Whose locker is that? Mine. Chest, stomach, throat. What does it all mean? We're in the nurse's locker room. I know that. Oh, that is so annoying. Wilson's girlfriend's left her stuff in my locker again. Great. I haven't committed any felonies yet today. Relax, you know they're gonna blame House, you wanna mess with Wilson, no problem. But you got no reason to screw around with- We get back to the medicine. Okay. Why well, assume one disease? His chest, her throat. So it's just a coincidence that they both got crippling stomach pains. Wow, they really are a great couple. So much in common. One blue shoe. What do you think that means? It means you're insane. Wilson's not dating her. You feeling luckier? It doesn't matter what I answer. 200 it is. If they're married and caught the same disease, then it means they... Ha! We're sure to a jazz festival in the Poconos this weekend. Wilson likes jazz. Pullman, paint a man. Four, five, six novels, no music. What does that mean? She's literate. It means she spends her leisure time reading, not listening. She'd only want to go and watch jazz if the other person wanted to go. She has a martyr complex, issues of inferiority. Married couple, same disease. They either got it from each other or in the same place. Infectious or environmental. All we have to do is check out parasites, viruses, bacteria, fungi, prions, radiation, toxins, chemicals, or it's internet porn related. I'll check the internet. You guys cover the rest of the stuff. If they can live here without killing each other, they must really be in love. It's tiny. How come it's taking you so long to search it? Lots of condoms in his jacket. <laughs> I know you're poor now, but buy your own. She's on the pill. Why would they need condoms? No. Put that back. Why? We show that to House. He'll just call the guy a cheating bastard. Look how he is with Wilson. He'd be right. Could be an STD. One that doesn't give him any symptoms in their sexual organs? They never mention anything. Maybe they're embarrassed. What else could it be? You think they just like the sexy feel of latex against their genitals? Maybe the wife just wants to be extra cautious. <laughs> Come on, you really believe that? Yeah. Good. Then I'm sure you'll have no problem convincing House. That cheating bastard. He loves her. Right. I bet he told you that she's the love of his life. People lie. I get it. But they don't go up against two armed gunmen to save someone unless they really- There's a reason that we don't let kids vote or drink or work in the salt mines. They're idiots. 20-year-olds fall in and out of love more often than they change their oil filters, which they should do more often. Sorry, ridiculous of me to draw a conclusion based on actually observing them. Should have just depended on your misanthropic view of human nature. Gonorrhea explains all their symptoms. Fits to your syndrome for her belly pain, costochondritis and bladder infection for his chest and abdominal pain. Good. Now go rub their lying, cheating privates with a cotton swab. Why would you want to look at her? Is this because of the condoms? He found them in his jacket, figured he was hiding something from me. I thought I was pregnant last month, kind of freaked me out. I'm way too young to have kids. So you just wanted to be extra cautious? Which one of us had figured that out? Stuck to his guns. Still gonna check you both. She's the only girlfriend I've ever had. She's the love of me. Please don't say it. I can't say I love my wife. We're still gonna test you. What is it, I'm white? Yeah. That's it. Jared, I wish you would stop it. You're really embarrassing. Everybody thinks they're so liberal, but I see how they look at us. White and black. Especially black. <sighs> I'm sorry, Trace, but it's true. Great. Prove us all wrong. No scarring, no purulent discharge, and the NAATs were negative. They don't have an STD. What's that you say? You got a problem with interracial couples. <sighs> Thank you, Chase. No! Any of your shorties ever been whiteies? Not sure I understand your ghetto slang, Dr. House. How many black women have you dated, by the way? I don't care about color. As long as they can help me breed a superior race. Yeah. My exes have usually been black, so what? It's not a racial thing, it's cultural. 
I have more in common with them. Like, I assume you only date emotionally stunted bigots. Sorry, you're right. That kind of prejudice is totally fine. The abdominal pain's getting worse. I've had up there morphine twice. Take the wife off the steroids. If she spikes a fever, we'll know it's an infection. She doesn't, it's environmental. 